just crafting around. Hello, my name is Kelly and I am your host. Today we are going to be doing, um, making a sign. We're going to be doing um, different, we're going to be painting different letters. Uh, the word is going to spell out family. What we're going to do is we're going to use some old barn wood. Um, somebody had some old barn wood. It came in the lats like this. And what I did was just to get this started so that we didn't have to wait, what I did was I glued and then um, put them in because they're interlocking like this, but the glue isn't going to be strong enough. So then what I did was I took four inches. Um, I actually had a, a couple uh, rulers at home and I took them and I painted them and I screwed into each one so that, because you can tell this is quite heavy. But look at how nice the boards are on the inside here. They're gorgeous. They've got some holes in here. The wood itself is, like I said, some old barn wood. I sanded this a little bit. They're a little bit warped, not a problem. I sanded it a little bit, and now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the letters to spell out the word family. Okay, let's get started. Put this to the side. What we did was we chose the colors that we want to do, the colors that, that we're going to paint. A lot of these letters I got on sale in Bismarck. What you do is coupons. Um, got this letter, I'd say, I, in fact, all of these letters that I had to spell out family, the one that I spend the most on was $2.50. The rest of them I all found either for like the eye here, which is different. I, I'm the kind of person I don't want everything to look alike. I just as soon have something different. So what it was was we I found this MDF, which is white, which doesn't matter because we're gonna paint it anyway. This eye was 40 some cents because I found it on sale. The L and the M. These here I also found on sale. And um, we're going to do um, different kinds of textures here. So this A, I found this at Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99 and I had a coupon for 50 cents off. Goodbye. So this is made out of galvanized aluminum. And then I found the, uh, this Y. This Y is an acrylic and we're going to do something a little bit different with it. Instead of painting on it, we're going to take some scrapbooking paper and we're going to use that for this. So, what we're going to start out with is we're not going to do anything at all with the eye because the eye came this way. It's got the scrapbooking paper kind of thing on it, so we're not going to touch this one. This one is going to stay the way it is. But we are going to work on the F. And what we're going to do is we're going to distress them, but not right now. I'm going to take it, I'm going to paint it, and beads it's white, you would think that you wouldn't have to coat it more than once, but you really do. We're going to go with red on this one. And beads, it is a nice day out today. We're just going to take it outside and let it dry because it'll dry real good. So we're going to have to coat this more than once. That's pretty much a given. You don't have to do the back. But we are going to have to do the sides. Like I said, the back does not need to be done because we're just going to be gluing it. So, I'm not going to worry about that. Again, what I'm doing is I put down wax paper on the table so that you don't get the table full of paint. I am an extremely bad painter. I guess the German word for it would be schlup. So kind of schlepping around. If I want something painted in my house, I usually just say something to my husband and kind of walk away because he doesn't like my painting either. I think it's because I get bored easily. Who actually likes to stand and paint? Maybe there are some people who actually like to paint. I do not. Doesn't go fast enough for me. 
Okay, got the front painted. And it's not always gonna stay this color. I know this looks like a bright red. It is called Crimson Red. So it is a bright red, but give me a little bit of time and that will change. It's gonna change more to a, a oh, what do I wanna say? Not a bright red, it's gonna be more of a muted red, I guess we're gonna call it. And try to go the same direction when you paint. I think that's another reason I don't like to paint. I don't want to go in the same direction. I always say too, when you turn 50, you should be able to do what you want. So maybe I don't want to go in the same direction, but I will. Cause I am making this for somebody else. Now if this would be just my project, probably wouldn't look quite as good as what this is gonna look. I do pay better attention and I do a better job when I'm doing it for somebody else. Again, like I said, you can find the letters in the stores, pretty much so when I go to Bismarck, I spend most of my time at Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Um, Michael's and Hobby Lobby are really, they've got different stuff as well as Joann's Fabrics. They all carry their own brands. They all carry their own stuff. They all have coupons. Can't go wrong with that. So I spend pretty much so of my time. And if I'm not spending my time there because I didn't get a chance to get there, I do look at their stuff online. Although I'm the kind of person that likes to touch it, feel it, see how thick it is, see if it can be distressed or not. Some things just don't look good distressed. You can't distress everything. I know you're gonna find that hard to believe with me, but there are a few things I've distressed and haven't liked them. Very few, but there are a few. If you would like to be a guest on the show and you do crafts, please don't hesitate to give us a call. You can call the office at 437-2615 at, uh, and you can ask for Lisa or myself. We will buy the supplies for you and you can be a guest on the show. I know there are better crafters out there than myself. So don't be shy. Give us a call. We'd be glad to have you on. Now, this is done. This is the color it's gonna turn out to be. I'm gonna go set it to side. I'm gonna let it dry, and we're gonna start out with our next one. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, so now with this acrylic Y, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around it because we are actually going to be using some scrapbooking paper for this. We want to get the colors in here that she's looking to use. And then we are going to use some Maj Paj. And we are going to glue it on the back so that you can see through it because this is acrylic. So. Oops. 
crease out of the lines. some Windex and cleaned off the acrylic Y. I'm going to cut it out now. And once I cut it out, I'll put some Maj Paj on it. And we're going to glue this to the back. See how it turns out. Never done that before, so this will be a first for me as well. Okay, we've cut out the Y from some scrapbooking paper. And I'm going to take some Maj Paj. I did clean this with a paper towel and some Windex. I want to make sure that we got all the all the dust and stuff off of here. The lint. I'm going to use a sponge brush. What I do is have two pieces of wax paper ready. Because again, I am messy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Maj Paj on here, the top part. I'm going to let it set for just a little bit before we actually adhere it to the never done it or done it like this before. So this should be rather interesting. The Maj Paj should dry. I usually like to let it set for just a little bit so that it gets tacky before it gets glued on. Bring it over here. I'm going to try and set Take the acrylic now. If it is um, a little off, we're not going to worry about that because we can cut. We can cut it to fit because I cut the edges just a little bit so that I'd have a little bit of wiggle room on here. take this roller and just see if I've got any air bubbles on here that I need to roll off. Then once it's dried really good, what we're going to do is we're going to take our X-Acto knife and we are going to cut along the corners and the edges just so that we've got it really, really good. But we're just going to put it to the side and let it dry now. Get three months free access on all lines, plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take the sander and rough these up a little bit because um, we are going to be taking the dark stain after them. We want them to look aged a little bit. So what I'm going to do is um, these have dried very nicely. I'm going to take the electric sander and I'm going to sand all the edges, corners, what I can, and then I'm just going to go over this a little bit because I want the I want the um, stain to soak into those spots. This is what I'm looking to do. So we're going to move these over, and we are going to get started. You can see that's what I'm doing. I'm taking off the paint because that's where I want the stain to go. 
usually you go around the edges, the different edges and stuff that there are, and those are the places that you try to uh, get down to the wood because the wood part is what's gonna take your stain. So get to the edges and then go over the top just a little bit because you want it to show. You just don't want it to show on the edge, you also want it to show it on the top. right way there is no bad way to do this it's how you want it I don't like sharp corners I'm gonna round those corners off a little bit so each corner that I take here I take and I round it a little bit um, we're not completely done I do want to go in here and make some marks like this because I don't want this to be um, looking nice I want it to be more roughed up so we're gonna rough up a little bit more <laughs> the way I like it. Again, like you, like you can see, I've roughed up pretty much so the edges here to where they look rounded. I'm going to just let them have it a little bit more with the sander. Another one of my favorite tools, a sander, an electric sander. Talk about saving time. So yes, I'm going to go in and I'm going to rough up these just a little bit more and then we would be ready to stand this, but we have the L and the M that we have to work with a little bit yet. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. High definition and caller ID is now free with all TV packages. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to find out more. Okay, now that we are done, we've roughed up the boards, we've roughed up the letters here a little bit, I am going to go and take some stain. And what I use is I use the Minwax, the wood finish, the dark walnut. You can go to any of your stores. A lot of times I just go up to our um, local lumber yard up here. They're always so willing to help me out. They always find me what I need and throw out some ideas, which is very, very nice. I do enjoy that. So thank you very much, Tom and Irene, for that. And any kind of Walmart, or not Walmart, any kind of walnut stain, like I said, I use the dark walnut. I do like that the best for the stuff, um, for when I'm distressing things. It seems to take on, it seems to take that dark, you know, it does the darker color on there. So, and that's really what I'm looking for. That's the, that's the kind of stain I like. That's the color. I did try some others and I just didn't like it as much. It seemed to, it, it stained it, but it didn't stain it dark enough for me. Vintage, um, antique, everything is, is, is dark. Or that's what I have in my mind anyway, is the darker colors. I don't particularly like the smell of stain. In fact, I hate it. Don't like it at all. To me, it gets into your, into your nose and you can't get it out. What I'm going to do as soon as I'm done with these, I'm going to let them set outside. It's a nice sunny day today. It's windy. They'll dry faster. We want these to dry before we put them onto our board. I'm just going to let this sit here. I'm going to go after the yellow. Try also when you're doing something like this, try different paint colors. You never know what they're going to look like, especially if you want to distress them and you're going to be using the dark walnut stain. Um, try it first. See if that's what you like. You may think you're going to like it and then it turns out that you really don't. So take a piece of wood, put it on a piece of wood, 
color the wood, put your stain on it, or um, use your, your sander or a hand sander or whatever you have, sand it down, put your stain on, and as you can see, I put it on and I take it off. There's some green colors, there's some really pretty blue colors out there, but I found that when I used some of the blue colors and then used this stain, what happened is it turned it more into a green color and I didn't really care that much for that. So like I said, I do play around with the different colors because there are some colors that I like and there's some colors that I think I'm gonna like and I don't. Then there's, and be sure that you do the sides. The sides are just as important because when you're gonna be looking at this, you're gonna be looking at it from the side as well. So make sure that you work your sides in as much as the front. And like I said, we are gonna let this dry. And while we're waiting for these to dry, this is what the yellow turned out like. Really dumped it down. So kinda got the old Turned it more to a goldish. I know this is black, but I'm still going to work with this. I'm still going to stain it to get our other colors. This was colored black right in the beginning, but I didn't like the black because it was shiny, and I like the matte colors. When I use any kind of any kind of um, paints, that's why I like the chalk paints because they are all a matte color. I like the mattes. I don't like the shinies. To me, matte is, is um, or antique and vintage and all that stuff is, to me, is the matte color and not the shiny colors. So there again, I use the stain, the black. Of course, it's not gonna show up as much, but it's going to look, you can see it's it's got a little bit different look to it. It's just because it's the dark to begin with, so. Dark on top of dark, still dark. And when you're staining, go the same direction with your stain when you're rubbing it into your stuff. Go use the same direction when you paint and when you stain. Everything has to run the same direction. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm gonna put that to the side. And while I'm putting those to the side and putting them outside to dry, we are going to come back and we are going to work on that L because it should be dry by now for us to be able to go in there and take off, use our, our X-Acto knife and take off some of the, the paper, scrapbooking paper. We're going to take off the excess from that. Valley Telecommunications is pleased to announce that our Technology Solutions Center is fully stocked and open for business. We have a large selection to meet your wants and needs. Some of the items we currently carry are a variety of corded and cordless phones, different brands of tablets such as Kindle Fires and Apple iPads and all the accessories for them, Telecom computers, Epson and HP printers and ink cartridges, Apple iPods and accessories, office supplies, wireless keyboards and mice, cellular phones and accessories, different types of media storage, cameras, headphones, power strips and surge protectors, and much, much more. You can also get your very own Valley Swag. Our prices are reasonable and comparable to any other retail store. If there is something that you want or need that we do not currently carry, please let us know so that we can check into it for you. We accept all major credit cards, cash or check. Please feel free to stop by our office and check out our new and improved store for all of your technology and day-to-day -day business needs. Okay, all our letters are done. They've all got the stain on them. They've been roughed up, beaten up a little bit. And now we are going to put them on the board here. I'm just going to use some hot glue and hot glue them on. So you can see our board is a little 
Kitty Wonkus. But that's okay. That'll work. It looks like the tops. All of these. What I did was I just kind of marked a little bit on the top of these so that I knew where I wanted them to go. So I'm going to leave these on. I'm going to take, and what I did is I eyeballed, didn't measure. I kind of looked to see what it was that I liked, how to arrange it, and also talk to the person that actually wants this when I'm done with it. So here we go. I'm going to dab some big blobs of glue on here. And beans, this is kind of warped. We're going to, there's just a few places where I can put it, like tack it up here, right here, tack some right on here. This part here won't go down and then right here. So I've got a couple places where I can tack it up on top here. So get your hot glue gun good and hot. We're gonna put some heavy glue on here in some places. down here in the bottom. This is the one thing you're going to be using a lot of here is some hot glue, some good hot glue. This glue that I have says that it is good for wood. So it is actually wood super glue as well. Or Gorilla Glue, I guess I should call it Gorilla Glue because that's what she is. Okay, just gonna hold it down for a little bit. It doesn't take very long for hot glue to dry. To the next piece. When we come back, whatever isn't tacked on here, we're going to put a little extra hot glue on the insides here. Wherever it didn't get tacked down very nice. It's like a corner right here. That's not very good and we'll get that taken care of. Okay, now we have this aluminum piece right here. Hot glue and I have a love-hate relationship. I love it, and yet it burns so bad when you get it on your fingers. Really, really bad. And I have a tendency that that happens too. This is a little hard to hot glue for the simple reason there isn't a lot of places where you can actually put the hot glue on. It's gonna spread out a little bit, but then what we're going to do is we're gonna take our X-Acto knife and we're gonna go around those places and take it off, peel it off, where it's kind of come through here. Get rid of that. little bit inside the E or the A here and we'll just kind of while it's warm I'm gonna take it off because I don't want you to be able to look through there and then see nothing but hot glue that wouldn't work very well Dunk. We're going to move on to the M here. So I'm going to step back and take a look and make sure that everything is still going in the direction we had said it was going to go in. Looks 
looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna look to see what I'm able to glue here. The top is good and the bottom is good right here. So we're going to anchor it with the top and then the bottom part. Properly ready. This one here is a little heavier letter than what the other ones are, so I want to make sure that I get some good dabs of hot glue on here. Hold it down really good. Sure that it's laid in there pretty nice. And then press it down. Later, when you go through here, if you see any hot glue that you want to, that you got to get rid of, that kind of soaked out, it's not a problem. Easy enough to do. On this project, the thing that probably takes the most time is deciding what kind of lettering you want to use. What kind of materials do you want to use? Do you want, do you want um, capital letters? Um, it's really hard to find these letters in capitals and in the lowercase, the higher case, the uppercase and the lowercase. It was really hard to find the lowercase letters, which kind of surprised me, but again, we're going to do it on the top. This one here can run all the way down the bottom, so we'll give it as much glue as what we can. Make sure that if it's got writing and stuff on it that you have it the way, the right way around. And I'm only saying that because guess what? I've done that already too. I have spelled things wrong and if it wouldn't be for Lisa, when I'd look up from the camera or look at the camera, she'd be motioning me that uh, maybe look to make sure that you don't have things spelled wrong. That's usually another little problem I seem to have, not being able to get that correct. And we are winding down to the end here. Pretty good. There we go. Just got to shift my letter over just a little bit here. It's always good to have a pencil on hand. There we go. And then see where it lands, where you can glue. I can glue way down in the bottom I can glue up to here up to here and a little bit up on top here so that's good to know Let's see way up on top we're gonna put some glue again this is a this is a very heavy letter as well, so we're going to glue this one a little bit more. Make sure that the letters are somewhat straight before you push them down and hold them down for a little bit. Doesn't take much time again for this to dry. Like I said, that's what I do like about hot glue. It doesn't take long for stuff to dry. Erase my lines up on top here. Pretty much golden. 
And if these do come down at any time, you can always use some hot glue and hot glue them back up again. See, this one here is gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it's extremely light, so that's not gonna be an issue. I'm not gonna be able to get the top, but what I can do is I can get the bottom and a little bit here on the sides, so we're just gonna work with that. the lightest of the letters so that'll be helpful okay my last letter for the day again once you put it down you don't have much time to move it so make sure that you've got it even. Because taking it off sometimes is not pretty. Okay, this all looks good to me. I spelled it right. Or at least I didn't get any hand motions from Lisa like this. So it looks like I spelled it right. So here is the family sign we made out of old, as you can see, old barnwood. Again, this was made with just some barnwood that somebody gave me, so no cost there. The letters I probably spent, like I said, the most I spent was a little over two dollars on each one of them. So. Um, and not even all of them, just one of them actually. So about two fifty for one of the letters and the rest of them I all got cheaper than that. So be sure and if you do go into the shops, be sure and look to see about coupons because coupons are your best friends when you go into some of the, the craft shops. Thanks for tuning in to Just Crafting Around. If you want to be on the show, please give us a call at 437-2615 and ask for Lisa or myself. See you at the next episode of Just Crafting Around.